Okay, we're going to do a precision takeoff and landing. The drone is out there. I've drawn an X right underneath the drone. It's running through its self-diagnostics. Check on the version check, firmware. Okay, it's done all of its checks. Everything is normal. GPS flight mode, vision sensors, IMU, compass, ECS status, connected to 11 satellites. So let's get some video of this property. Very important to make sure the home point's been updated. You may not know where to come back home to. It goes up 19 feet in precision takeoff. It goes up 19 feet and gets uh, those visual checks to get its positioning sensor uh, more accurate. Okay, the drone has ascended to a height of 133 feet. We are looking northeast, turning to the southeast, pretty much following the property line along the top edge. Coming back into the property. The end is at that fence line down there in the about halfway on the right hand corner. Now we are turning west. Looking out over the property to I-95. Heading west, we will turn northeast, actually we turn south southwest. We're turning to the northeast, the tree line is approximately the property line. Again, this is 91 acres. Turning northeast. We're experiencing a high wind. We're going to return home.
Okay, it's experiencing high wind. So we're going to, and it's only up 134 feet, 677 feet away. We're just going to hit the home button and let it come home automatically. It'll drop down to about 100 feet and come home automatically and land. Go home. We'll see how far off it is from the X. Right now it's connected to 16 satellites. Looks like it's off about four inches, and I think that's due to the wind. But now we'll go try the phone, and we'll do that live on Facebook. See how that comes out. 